Hey there, so good afternoon. So, what do you think these little squares are for in a USB port? Are they for looks? Um, to help it, something go in and out? Well, I've realized that um, there's not a lot of information online and I've never seen these outside of industrial applications, but the purpose of those two little squares is to be able to lock the um, USB drive or cable into a port as such. See, it locks it in pretty good. So to unlock it, pull the little tab, it actually comes. So I don't know why this isn't more common because um, if you've got something like an external hard drive, you know, you don't want it falling out the back of your computer or whatnot, it's actually not a bad idea. Um, most cables have them, some don't, whoa. Some don't, such as this sand disc, it's just got two little square things, indents, but not enough to actually lock it in as such. I suppose it does a tiny bit, but yeah. It doesn't go deep enough to really engage it. So yeah, there you have it. That is what those two little squares are for. Pretty cool, and I'm surprised I don't use it more commonly. So you're probably asking, what on earth is this thing anyway? This, believe it or not, is a single port USB hub. <laughs> and you're going to try and Google it. You will not find this anywhere because um, it's basically used in commercial applications. So um, if you're really interested, I can tell you now. Otherwise, you can just finish the video and I'll see you next video. All right, so basically you've got... A USB hub, um, which I don't have one floating around, I don't think. No, I don't. So I can't show you. It's not very helpful, is it? Let me find one. Okay, so I found my uh, four-port USB hub. So this mainly applies to commercial or industrial applications. So you've got ports one, two three, four. Now, uh, how am I going to explain this? So, those go off to devices, you know, various industrial, commercial devices, like a, I don't know, whatever, USB this or that, printers, card readers, etc. So, what happens is, with some USB hubs, if you put 5 volt signal on, uh, what is it, data, the port will configure itself as a three port USB hub when you power it up. So that fourth, anything connected to that fourth port will not be detected because the chip has obviously configured it as a, as a three port. So what you do, you get one of these three port, sorry, single port USB hubs, plug that in and then you plug your device into there so if the device for whatever and this happens and again this doesn't happen on home stuff this is a commercial device that i'm not going to talk about on youtube um you know just because i'm not supposed to <laughs> so anyway um you plug that into the single port hub when the usb port powers up it won't be getting a five volt feedback through the data um and which will configure it as a three port it will stop that and allow the usb hub to configure itself as a four port hub so there you go you've learnt two new things today hopefully which is one is what are those squares for now we know they're for locking the usb plug into a plug that has a lot locking latch and that there is such thing as a single port usb hub very bizarre if you're interested too, this thing is actually, it's a four port um, USB chip inside there, uh, but it only uses port two. So it's technically a four port hub, but it's just got the one, the one connection there. So anyway, if you find this interesting, great. If not, no worries. So I uh, hope you learned something and I'll catch you next time.